As far as American fighters go, they don't come a lot more popular than the former UFC lightweight champion, New Jersey's finest, Frankie the Answer Ed. Frankie Edgar is a phenomenal wrestler, but he's used that wrestling to become an even more dangerous fighter. He's developed fantastic boxing under Mark Henry. Ricardo Almeida has his jiu-jitsu on par with this striking. Also, the wrestling has made Frankie Edgar one of the best fighters the UFC has seen at 155 and now at 145 pounds. Grace the Octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. Census best knockout of 2018 against Chan Sung Jung. That came with one second to go in the fifth and final round. Yaya Rodriguez back on the proven ground team. Yaya Rodriguez is a guy that since winning the Ultimate Fighter Latin America has earned five, five performance of the night bonuses and seven fights. Every time that he fights, it's very exciting. He's very skilled. He can do it all. He went out to Chicago after the show lived with Izzy Martinez, learned wrestling, learned to speak English, just developed an overall game of mixed martial arts to put himself in a position where he could one day fight for a UFC championship. And it's fortunate that he was able to work out his differences with the UFC because one thing I will say without a doubt, he deserves to be in the biggest show in the sport and Yair Rodriguez very much a factor here in this featherweight division. Yair Rodriguez set to face Frankie. The answer, Edgar. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Frankie the Edson. Now we're see the champion fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the winning, the bending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Yeah, El Patero Rodriguez. Herbert Dean's in the building. Right, He's right. the third man in the octagon right. tonight. Always a rowdy crowd here inside United Center in Chicago, Illinois. And tonight is no different. Great to have a major UFC live event back in Tuscaloosa. Yeah, this is a massive night for the fans. The fans are always rowdy here in Chicago. They love to see the championships won and championships on the line tonight from the United Center. All right, early round action here on the kickboxers. Not going to win the fight by stuffing one takedown, but. So far, so good as far as his takedown defense is concerned. It's a great start, right? Because it's something to build off of. And he has to truly understand he cannot be content with only stopping one. He's got to recognize that he's got to stop multiple over the course of this fight. Nice jabs turned in there by Rodriguez. You never know where it's coming from. You don't know if he's going to do a cartwheel, try to kick you. You never know what's happening from Yaya Rodriguez. An underhook to get a more dominant position. Edgar gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. While well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Edgar. A 
another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Edgar's in half court. Constantly a moving target. Back mount now. Edgar's right back to the full mount here. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, he got to his spot. Final minute of round one. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by it. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Rodriguez getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Oh. Let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Well, round one, a tough act to follow. Here we Ready go with fight? our second round. Ready. Yair Rodriguez versus Frank Yen. See, this is a hard guy to simulate in training. Creates a lot of different angles, manages distance well. He's doing well with that men's here tonight. Oh, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. There you go. There you go. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Edgar. Good, solid strike on the ground. These ground strikes are starting to add up. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. That was a slick transition. Three minutes to go in round two. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Ed. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. There. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but... And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Trying to let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas. Oh, he got him hurt bad here. Oh, nice kick. One minute now to go round two. Right now they separate. Edgar's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Hands higher, hands higher. Trying to find a home for that right hand. 
Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be looking for more of the same here when they get up off the stools. I don't know who it is. I don't know who we're watching fight. But I tell you, as he walks back, he looks like Bambi. When Bambi was born and her legs were shaking, that's exactly how this man looked when he took that right hand. He was hurt bad, John. And the ability to get through that, the ability to still be in this fight shows to his toughness. But if he doesn't change it, he won't get he will not get another chance. Bambi. Bambi. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Book, so a nice sequence on the right there. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh! Oh! Big left hand. Oh, nice takedown defense. Well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again. But how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, to not go headhunting, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. And there's the single leg. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. Nice transition. Side control now. There it is. Now he's on the mount. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting up now. Oh, just misses with the kick. I mean, that right hand in the square. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's going to try to shed into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. Those leg kicks, man. That's his investment. His investment. Job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Edgar. Both guys appear to land there. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Ten seconds to go in the round. These guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, and mostly there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he Ready landed this punch right here Ready. that sits his opponent Good. down, it showed 
that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested. Right, dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the effect. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the outside. Rodriguez is in half guard. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest, and get enough pressure to finish his technique. Oh, looks tight to me. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle. Of his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. 20 seconds left. There's the horn, an appreciative crowd responding in kind. He rocked his opponent multiple times there in that round, but very confident in doing so. They might even bring in the RP here. I mean, he was, it was relaxation at its finest, just so relaxed, so comfortable in the fire, which then allowed him to land these big strikes that had his opponent buzz on many, many occasions. But he cannot get desperate. Don't go crazy trying to finish the fight. Let it come to you. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those Ready, strikes. Fight. He kept hitting Ready. over and Go. over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did that. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, one got through. That kick was brought. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting the... Oh, big shots from the top. Staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Big right hook there by the champ. He passed the half guard. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. 
Another strike gets through from the top position. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Edgar. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Edgar's back to the side control now. Referee will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of bounds. They will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Mm, nice. Great job landing from the top position. Oh, that killie is tight. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Gotta be careful here. 20 seconds left. So the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here. And I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on. And tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Yeah! All right, so how about the effort out of Yair Rodriguez here tonight? This is a plus athlete. He's got a penchant for being flashy, no doubt about it, but he found a home for those kicks early and often here tonight as he continues to prove that he is a featherweight force to be reckoned with. And you got to think, before Rodriguez's career is said and done, he will have earned an opportunity to compete for that UFC featherweight title.